This is calculator question number 20 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a radical equation and asks us for the awkward expression root x minus 3 is if x is the solution. So let's solve this the easy way. I can do it algebraically and I will, but first I'm just going to my graphing calculator because this is a calculator section. So if I put the left side in y1, the right side in y2, I'm going to use the window Zoom 6, the standard window, because I suspect from these answer choices that my x value will be in the standard window. And the graph looks something like this, and then this, and the solution to this equation will be the x value at the point of intersection. So I use second calc, choice 5 is intersect, I have to scroll right to be on the equation, and then I hit enter three times, and it says x equals 4. The x coordinate at the point of intersection is the solution to this equation that only has one variable. So if x is 4, they're not asking for x, they're asking for root x minus 3, which is root 4 minus 3, which is square root of 1, which is 1. So the answer would be 1. But let's do that algebraically. I left out college boards, question mark. Algebraically, I have root x minus 3 equals 3 minus root x. And let's square both sides to get rid of one of the square roots. So I have x minus 3 on the left equals, I'm going to write squaring this as multiplying by binomial by itself because otherwise I sometimes make, make errors, errors squaring a binomial. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative root x is negative 3 root x. Negative root x times 3 is minus another 3 root x. And negative root x times negative root x is positive x. If I subtract x from both sides, I get negative 3 equals 9 minus 6 root x. Add 3 to both sides, I get 0 equals 12 minus 6 root x. Let's add 6 root x to both sides. So I have 6 root x equals 12 divided by 6. All this is to get root x by itself. Root x equals 12 over 6 is 2. Squaring both sides, to get rid of the square root, I get x equals 4. Same thing I got on the graphing calculator. I strongly prefer doing the calculator rather than the algebra. It's faster, it takes less mental energy on a very long and tiring test, and you're less likely to make errors that will match other choices in a multiple choice question. So definitely go with the calculator, and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.